Okay, are you ready? Have you managed to find out what your affordability amount is or the pre-qualifying amount is? Remember that that's just a guideline. It's not exactly what you'll be uh, borrowing from the bank. It all depends on your application. Now let's talk about your application. Firstly, an application can only be made once you have signed an offer to purchase. That means you've seen a property, you fell in love with it, you can see yourself living in there, and now your agent has done a physical offer to purchase with you that is going to be submitted to the seller for acceptance. That process is usually taken care of by the agent. The next step is the finance. Oftentimes, an agent can help you with that. At Ingwe, we are very willing to be a part of that process. In fact, we enjoy being a part of the process because we know then that we can guide you to completion. What, are the, what is the bank looking for? The bank is firstly looking for your stable income. That means your employment record or if you are self-employed, that you are earning a set salary every month. They're looking to see how do you pay your retail accounts every month? Are you paying on time? Are you over indebted? Meaning, are you spending more than 30% of your income towards loans and repayments? Remember that if you are overexposed, it will now restrict your affordability. The bank will not lend you the full amount that you would like to qualify for. And furthermore, they will see you as a consumer that is borrowing too much and is not able to meet their installments every month. Paying on time is important. Making sure that you're meeting the full installment amounts every month is important. And of course, remember, not more than 30% of your income must be paid towards loans and higher purchase. We'll talk more the next time we catch up.